Whoa. Wow. <laughs> See those sparks? Yeah. They're big. Yeah, they sure are. Okay, now I'll turn the lights on so we can turn the machine off and we, okay. we'll investigate. This is called a Van de Graaff generator. And have you ever seen sparks like that? No, not like that. Well, no, not quite that big. You've certainly walked across the rug, though, and, yeah. and then touched something or like a brother yeah. and gave him a spark and a nice little shock. Well, this is basically the same idea. Uh, if you remember, if you've ever done experiments with static electricity, you rub a balloon on it and stick it on the wall or something. Yeah. Or your hair and it sticks. Or hair and sort of sticks up. Yeah. And you can rub a, a hard rubber comb with a piece of wool, and then it, I don't know if I can give you a a little bit tingling, you can feel it just a little bit. But that's basically the same idea. And that's what that does, only it does it with a motor. Oh, So let's okay. take a look at it. Underneath is the motor. Oh, okay. And when I turn it on, while well, we spin it, around, spin it around, and this pulley goes around and turns that rubber belt. And then uh, extra electrons are actually put on by these little wires here oh, from, from the current. But yeah. the important thing is the electrons get caught on that belt and are carried up, see, it goes all the way up over to here, mm -hmm. up inside this dome. So if we take the dome off, I think you'll get an idea of what's happening. Oh. See the other little wires yeah. in there with all yeah. those little points on? Mm -hmm. As the electrons come around on the rubber, they're picked off by all those points. And then they can flow over here to, through these wires. And there's a little piece of metal that connects the wires to this dome. Ah. Okay. And notice that we wanted, when we wanted to collect electrons like that, we had little points. Mm -hmm. Now when we want to store them up, we don't want points. We want nice rounded kind of things. And that's why this is a sphere. So eventually when we turn it on, we fill this whole sphere with electrons. Oh, I see. see? And they're, they're building up bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when I bring this dish over here, which I have turned upside down, uh, uh, the electrons jump from there to here. And I made this round also mm -hmm. so that they, they would build up to the greatest potential before they jump. Okay. And that's how we got that big spark. Now remember, just to show you how those points work, here's a, another variation of a famous, you know how a lawn sprinkler goes around with the water spritting out? Yeah. Okay. What should happen if we put this cork up on top here, and that pin goes all the way through there, in order to put the top on, I have to put my glasses because I uh, have a little tiny hole in that wire so that I can balance the wire mm -hmm. on top of the needle, like that. Okay. Okay, now the electrons are going to build up here and they're going to flow up here through the pin and out over here. And you know, see that point right there? Yeah. So that's where they're going to be sort of spit out. Oh, I so see. what should happen if we spit out something in that direction? What happens with the water hose? Or it turns. Water spring? It turns. As the water comes out this way, the sprinkler goes that way. Yeah. Well, when electrons come out this way, what should happen to that? It'll go that way. Yeah, the other way. All right. Well, let's try it. Watch. Wow, that's neat. And you notice how the little strands go up to Yeah, just like the, hair. <laughs> yeah, well, they're filled with electrons, too, and they're there. So they're... It's going fast. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. Every once in a while I get a little shock coming from it. <laughs> but don't worry about it if you should feel a shock because it's not very, it's high voltage. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, you can make a rough estimate. Uh, scientists ordinarily think a normal dry air, one inch, you know what an inch is? Yep. I know you do in yeah. meters. But an inch is about 25,000 volts. Wow. So we've had at least two inches, maybe a little more, so we had at least 50,000 volts. That's a lot. But it's very low current, so it won't hurt you. But you'll feel it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, probably the most famous of all experiments with a Van de Graaff generator is they get a girl who has nice hair like this, and they put a platform on the floor. And if you'll notice, in front of you is a platform. Yeah. That I made that with a bunch of bottles, so that's glass. So that's an insulator. If you step up on the board, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Step up on the board. You are now insulated from the floor. Okay. Okay. Now we turn on the machine, but first we put your hand on it like that. Okay. Extra electrons on the belt are going to come up here. They're going all over the sphere. And now because you're touching it, all some of those extra electrons are going all around over you. And you remember how the little red things went up? Yeah. When's the thing going around? My hair. That could happen <laughs> to your hair. 
Okay. Now, it depends entirely upon what kind of hair people have and how much oil there is it and what kind of a day it is. But we'll give it a try just so that you can say you've done it. Okay. Once I turn it on, then you shake your head like that to separate it. We'll see if we can't get some of the hairs on your head to stand up. All right. Ready? Okay. Okay, here we go. Don't take your hand off. Leave it on there at all times. Okay. I'm tingling. You're tingling? <laughs> yeah. Shake your head a little bit. Ah, some. Should I shake fact, it again? Yeah, stay there. Keep doing it. Here, can you see yourself? Oh, yeah. How do you look? <laughs> weird. You're kind of weird. Shake yeah. it again. Okay, now hold still once and we'll just let it sit there for a minute. Okay. Yeah, the whole front's standing up. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, now don't take your hand off. No. I'll turn it off. Don't take your hand off. Okay. Because you're all full charged with all those things. In fact, your hair is still standing up. Okay, now take your hand off and don't put it back on again. Take your hand off. Okay. Now step down. Oh, the minute you touch the rug, down went your hair. Okay, so you've done the famous Van de Graaff hair standing on egg experiment. <laughs> and you are safe and sound? Yeah, You're all I'm right? fine. Thank you. <laughs>